Hey guys, it's Kelly. I am here because I have set up my Kate Spade. I've gotten it all worked out and ready to go. I still had all of my winter stuff in there and I thought that I would show you my new setup. And then I need to do my June monthly. Um, I have the monthly on two pages. And so this is my Kate Spade. If you are new and haven't seen it before, it's just the zip around agenda. Um, what I have done here is I have decorated it for the spring and summer. Um, I just took some pieces from here and there that I had um, that I thought looked good together. So um, anyway, I have my gold pin gem here. I'll pull that out. I have this set. I'm not sure of the name of the shop that I got these from, but it's Dragonfly and Lily Pad oriented and or themed I should say and so what I got was um you get to choose your own um dashboard and then you get to choose your own uh, tabs here now you can have your tabs say something or you can have them um be blank I chose my tabs to say what I needed them to say but with each set I bought two sets I bought this set of dividers and then I also purchased a set that is peacock themed but anyway this is my dashboard and um, I'll come to this over here in just a minute so I have my dashboard this is my first section which is my monthly and I do have my monthly set up so that it begins right away with June um, I had to have May in here because it has this side for June in here. This is what I'm going to be planning today with you. Then I have the next section which is weekly and I have it set up with my bookmark which says today and I need to do this week which I'll be doing in another video but I love this bookmark that says today that helps me keep everything you know, I, I can just flip it open to just the right spot as needed. The next section, and that's really thick actually, but I like to keep it all together because I'm very disorganized and that sort of thing. I love these blooms, these lily pad and the blossom idea is just so pretty for spring and summer. This next section is my notes section. Now this particular um, paper, actually came with my Kate Spade when I purchased it. So I have this and it just says notes and doodles, but I've gotten rid of any old things that needed to come out and made it fresh and new. The next one I have is to do. This also came with my Kate Spade and it is just a list of things to do and I can check off when it's done and I can write down the time that it needs to be done or the date, that sort of thing. I find that to be very helpful, especially when it comes to doctor appointments. I can check off that I've done them and that sort of thing. Or if I need to tell my son something, I can check off if I've told him or not because I'm forgetful and he is not. <laughs> the next section, which is labeled appointment, if this is also fresh and new, um, what it is, I have the doctor's name, the date, and my reason for a visit, and if I have any questions to ask. I have filed away all of my older ones, and I'm starting fresh and new, just like I said before. And here on the back side, which I really love, as part of the So Much Crafting inserts, if you buy these with the doctor visits, you can put on here the um, doctor's name and you can put the date, what prescription, dosage, and time you're supposed to take your medications. So I have to update all of this, but I decided that I would wait and do that after I have gone through each section with you. And the next section, which I just love, I love the little, I don't know if you can see the little blue dragonflies, but I love this pattern especially. It's for addresses, and I do have them in the same tabs that came with my agenda here. Um, it goes all the way through Z. I kept all of those together. And then this is a washi keeper, but for me, this is going to be my divider so that um, I can divide into another section, which is where I'm going to be tracking my meals for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I'm gonna be putting down exercise, my duration, checking off my water and my notes. All I have to do is put the date and circle what day of the week it is. It's very, very handy. And then in the very back, I also have, 
which came with the agenda, which is very helpful. It is all of your holidays that happen throughout the year, and I know it's very tiny writing from where you're at, but um, I really like that, and um, I also do have here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's a 2017-18 calendar. So I have everything that I need for keeping up with my health and fitness here. I have addresses and those sorts of things and all of that kind of stuff. Now in the very back, what I did, I kept all of my Glam Planner things that I use on a regular basis. The ones mostly that came out of her Christmas surprise packs that we did. Um, it was sort of like an advent calendar that Glam Planner did. But it's really great because there's lots of very functional items in here um, that I can grab for. And also from Soda Pop Studio, I keep this holiday sticker in here. And I just keep it kind of stuck in the back with my pen, just like this. And that is that. So that's the bulk or the meat of it all. Now, as far as this is concerned, I wanted to decorate it, but I wanted it to be functional too. So I have happy here, and I, this is just a reminder for me to be happy. I do have some extra um, paper clips that are decorative that I have stuck in here. I can pull these and use these as needed. The only one that's holding the happy is the bow clip, which came with the Kate Spade. But inside here, I do have these that came from the um, spot in Michael's um, where you find planner activities. So you have just plain one. Another one that says reminder, a decorative one. This one has a date on it and this one's um, a decorative. It actually will fold like a book of matches if I wanted to put it in there. But I like kind of seeing this. So I just kind of stuck it down in the front. I have this extra clip here, which is just as cute as it can be. Because it has the flowers, I have my teapot and my um, cup and saucer over here. And I think that they're really, really cute. I did create these on my own from Ephemera. I just put this down in here and I think it's really cute. Um, and I also created this myself. I just pulled a tab just a regular, you know, like a gift tag. And I put this on the back of some pretty paper that I felt matched along with some pretty washi for deco. And I just kind of stuck it in here. Now if I can just get it back in the right one. <laughs> um, I'm still not getting the right one. It's hard um, once you get it set up to kind of pull it apart. But anyway, um, that is what I have done with this, and I really like it. I think it's really cute. Um, I like the uh, bold colors and the prints and that sort of thing. Um, if any of this, actually, I think I may put this one down farther, like that right there, so that you can actually see everything. I was going to round the corners on this, but I couldn't find my corner rounder, so I just decided to let it go as it is. I'm not really sure where all of these are from. Um, I can tell you that all of the ephemera and cards and this kind of stuff is from Michaels, and um, the decorative papers are from Michaels, along with um, the page markers or page flags are also from Michaels. Um, I just went into their section when they were first putting stuff out for this line and I just grabbed things that I felt like appealed to me and I have some more that will be different um, in the fall and winter months that I think I will like. Um, I have not used this since the winter. In fact, when I went to set this up, <laughs> what I was doing was I was um, actually pulling snowman out. <laughs> I just have not done anything in my Kate Spade in so very long. And I decided that it was time for me to get back into my Kate Spade and start using it again. And so I decorated it, got it all set up. I'm very pleased with the way that it looks. I'm going to put it to the side now. And we're gonna start working on planning. Now, I'm going to put 
This right here is a container where I have a bunch of washi in it, but I'm going to use this as like a desktop. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this as a desktop and I'm excited. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, I just have the empty May. I'm just going to be starting it fresh and new with, um, the month of June. I have this from Lexi Kylie Designs. It is the glamping kind of thing. I absolutely loved this. I think it's just so stinking cute. And so I am going to go in and I'm going to start putting some of these things down and get my month decorated because we're in the first week of June. And I really do not want to um, get any further behind than I already am. So... I am going ahead and getting started. I'm just going to put my side strip on here and pray that I get it on straight. I have no idea if I'm getting it on straight or not, and it is too short, which I do not understand. There, like that, and I did I did actually tear it just a little bit. Um, it's a little short, but that's okay. I do have some deco I can use if necessary. Um, this. I got a feeling this is going to bother me, <laughs> but that's just me, guys. That's just me. Okay, we did have um, some, actually what I need to do is I need to pull out my everyday planner so that I can remember what the holidays are for this month and what date they're on. Uh, and I need to get my headers up here at the top because I'm just so far behind. Okay, let's see here. I'm not really sure why that turned up short unless the measurement is different this time than it normally is. Um, I think that this is going to be pretty darn close. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it um, along the top. These are new, so much crafting inserts, they're brand new, and it could be that they are um, just off by just a touch. So I'm really not sure, you know, what to think about that, but so far with the top, that worked out good. Okay, now let's get this in here. I'm going to put it across the top as well. I also have to remember that once you lay something down, you have to leave it alone. <laughs> I kind of forget that about the so much crafting inserts because I haven't, I haven't planned in it in so long. So, um, so much crafting inserts are wonderful. They're wonderful for on the go, but they also are hard if you. Um, you know, it, if you go to lay something down and you're not careful, you'll tear it like I did there. So, okay, I have lots of things to go with here. Um, I have some full boxes, you know, for different places. I think what would probably work best for me first is to go in with these holidays. So, we know that Flag Day right here is on the 14th. So, let me go ahead and get this one put in. Put that down here in this bottom corner of this box just like that. Okay, Father's Day will be on Sunday, the um, 18th. And everything that I had to do with this, especially since I really don't have anything but just these little nubs that are already starting to chip, I'm going to have to just use my tweezers for because my fingers just can't seem to keep up. Okay, Hello Summer is going to be on the 21st. I love working with miniature things though. It's really a lot of fun. Just like that. And then also Ramadan ends on the 25th. And even though I don't practice that, you may. So I'm going to observe it right here. Just like that. Okay, wonderful. Now then, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead for um, my days of the week, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. And um, they're really, really tiny here at the top. And that is why I use my 
tweezers. So this would be a Sunday. And then we have Monday. And then we have Tuesday. So getting these days in here, because I'm used to working from a Monday to Sunday situation. And because I'm used to working with that kind of situation, it kind of confuses me if I don't get these up there. So let's go in with Wednesday. I love this kit from Let's See Kylie Designs. I usually purchase her monthly kits for um, my So Much Crafty inserts for the monthly and I, I do purchase a lot of her weekly kits. I really do enjoy them. I think they're just um, really cute. She always, you know, she always offers such a great variety of stickers in the kit and it gets cuter as you go. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to turn on the light just a little bit. There, maybe it's not quite as dark as it was before. Maybe that helps some. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because Tuesday will be garbage day for me, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in the, um, let's see, I think I'm just going to kind of put it over here in the opposite corner from the date. I'm going to put in my little trash bins as reminders that that is trash day. And I think that that will work out just fine to do that. And then this works out perfectly because there are exactly four days in the month for that. And we have four days. Okay. Now, I do have several things going on this month that are exciting. Um, I think what I want to do, let's go in with the things that I have scheduled to... Um, not forget and I want it to be things that are fun. I'm going to go in with this one that has the stars in the background. I'm going to put that on the bottom of the 24th and the reason I'm doing that is because that is the date of my 30th year high school reunion that I'll be going to and I'm really excited about that um, and I want to use these balloons. I don't have any birthdays to remember in this month um, as far as family is concerned, but this is going to be a big celebration for me and all of my high school friends. We're all very excited and ready to go. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun um, to reconnect with all of our friends and that sort of thing. I mean, some of these people I haven't seen in 30 years. As a result, I do have a hair appointment on this day. So I'm going to grab this really cute, I like this bright color here. I'm going to use this as an appointment reminder. And I know it's tiny, but it's really, it's really cute guys, especially when I go to put in the, the cute little hair dryer. Everything is miniature. And I love that because it's just so easy to glance at and see in the personal summits crafting um, size. I really love this a lot. I think it is so very cute. Um, okay, so I have this appointment here. I have a nail appointment the day before that. I don't see um, I don't see anything as far as like nail polish or anything like that. But what I do see is another one of these that I can use as an appointment label. Just like that right there. I know it's very hard to see. I'm going to use this little clock and I'll just put the time because I will remember that I have an appointment. So if you can see up close what I'm doing it's fun to work in miniature t sometimes, guys. It really is. It's a lot of fun sometimes. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do, I think, is go in with my payday. Oh, you know what? Let me go in with this little banner above um, on this date. Just like this right here because it is a special time. 
And then I think what I want to do is go in with my paydays. So I have these um, dark paydays here. I have to kind of reach through here. Let me see if I can get it bent up so that I can get my, here we go. So I'm going to put it right here on the first, just like that. And then also my other one, which will fall most likely on the 19th, just like that. Okay. So I think I have all of the really big major things in. What I'm going to do now is I am going to go off of camera. I'm gonna put in all of my date cover-ups and then after I do that, I'll be able to see what I need to do next. So let me go and do that. Guys, I was able to get all of the date dots down. Now what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be putting down some things that I need to remember. One of the things that I need to remember um, is actually on the 8th, I have an appointment to see my dermatologist. And I'm going to use this pattern here. I'm going to use this actual half box for that because this will be a new doctor for me. Um, it will not be my normal dermatologist because I haven't seen my normal dermatologist in years and years. And so I'm going to um, go ahead and use the stethoscope here for that. And um, yeah, so that will be a reminder for that particular um, thing. Now, what I also need to do, I need to go ahead on um, the 5th, I need to mark that I am going to be, uh, let's see, I think what I want to do is just go on in with this pattern here. I really think it's pretty. It's just the floral background like this here, but I'm going to go in on the 5th um, for that. And I'm just going to put down that I need to give Izzy her heartworm medicine. And there is a paw print here. So I'm going to put a paw print there. Then I'm also going to go in. I think what I'd like to do. There are not many of these that fill up um, an entire square. But I'm going to fill up an empty square. I'm going to start with this one over here. I'd like to put it in here because I did tear the page in that one spot. And I would like to cover that up. So I think I will put that one there. And then I think I'm going to put the other one where it says, let's sleep under the stars. I think I'm going to put it down here underneath the um, box that I used for my reunion. I think it'll just carry through with that thought, which will make it really cute. Or at least I hope it does. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. And I did bring you guys in a little bit closer than I had you earlier. Okay, one of the other things that I need to make a note of is I do have um, some things that need to be done like for example, I'm going to put this one here. I think I'll be able to put it down here. I am going to need to make a payment to my credit union. And this little school looks a lot like the credit union to me. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna make a note of paying um, that payment. So I need to do that. Then I also need to make some um, different things. I need to make them kind of, you know, a little bit more visible. And so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take, um, on the, um, 22nd and the 28th, those are the days where our phones are due. I think the 22nd, I will go ahead and pay them both. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and find there's this one here. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit like that right there. And I'm going to put the phone that I have here beside that so that I will rem remember to pay the phone bills. Um, I don't have a home phone number, 
um, I choose not to. It's nothing but telemarketers anyway. <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay, up here, I do want to use this. I think this is really a cute, cute half box. And let me put that down right there. And that is going to be really cute because I need to put down for my house payment to be paid, which it was, but I need to make sure that I do that and get in the habit of that. Okay, then aside from that, um, let's see, I do have, let's see, I guess I could just go and put some dollar bill some, or some dollar signs on some of the days where I have things that are due that like the fourth I have something for example so let me go ahead and put one in there and I'll just put it in the bottom corner and I can do that then also on the sixth I have a bill due so I can put it there that is my water and then I have uh, my power bill is on the 17th and that's right here. Let's go in with this. Um, we'll just go in with the next color. What, what did I say? Uh, the 17th. I'm trying to remember the days of each month that each thing is due. Okay. And then um, on the 19th, I need to pay the Oaks, which is the name of the apartment complex I lived in. That they, they are charging me for that dang carpet so I need to make a payment there and then also let's see I have um, a credit card due on the 26th and I think that will just about cover my bills my water and sewer are together so I have all of those marked now let me look and see if there's anything else that I have here that I need to do. I don't believe so. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to disguise the fact that this is too short. I thought about using a section of that. I also thought about just putting this at the top. Let me do that. I think that will be the easiest thing um, because I can't think of anything else really. Just like that right there. So we're celebrating the month of June. Just like that. Um, so let me see if there's anything else on here that I really want to use or think that there's going to be a need for. As far as an absolute need, I don't think so. But I am going to go ahead and put in the deco. And I'm going to save these half boxes. Um, I'm going to save those for another time. Okay, I just really love, love, love. I think I'm going to put the marshmallows on a thing there. I want to use this lantern. It's so adorable. And I definitely want to have it in here. So I'm going to put it there. I have this little roll. It looks like a sleeping bag that is just stinking cute I'll put it there and um, let me put the stars above it because I do have two stars and I think it'll be really cute to have those above on this day because this is you know a day in May so it's blank for this particular layout Okay, we do have some um, some s'mores here, and I think that I'm going to just use all of the little foods. So here we have some what looks like hot cocoa. So I'm going to put it right here for deco on that day, and that will fill up those days that I did not have much really going on. And then I have this little bouquet of floral here which I really like 
And I think that I would like to put it maybe, um, let's just put it down here in the corner as just a little touch of cute. Okay, so in case I go anywhere or anything happens, I do have these strips that I can use to mark off things, which is really always very nice. As I have doctor's appointments and um, maybe even another appointment come up, then I'll have these. I have some additional icons also, along with some blank ones. So what I will do is I'm going to get all of this put into my Kate Spade and I will be right back. Okay, I am putting my leftover stickers in the back and then I am flipping back to the month that I just planned, which is this right here inside the Kate Spade. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute. I love Lexi Kylie for her monthly kits, especially anything to do for the weekly sets in the So Much Crafting inserts also. So now I am set and ready to go. I just love it. I think it's so cute. Now I can zip it up and I can take it with me and have everything that I need on the go with me and that sort of thing. One of the things that I also do like to tuck into this front pocket right here, I do like to tuck in a list of my medications of what I take and how much and that sort of thing. It's very helpful in case something were to happen to me um, while I am out and about doing what I need to do, then that information will be in there. And um, yeah, so that's about it. Guys, I am hoping that you enjoyed planning with me in my Kate Spade. I hope that you enjoyed watching me as I put things down in um, the place that they belonged. And I hope that you enjoy watching my thoughts and that sort of thing as I was setting up my Kate Spade for the spring and summer. I'm excited to be getting back into it and to have it with me when I go places. It's just very, very handy. So if you did enjoy watching, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down there. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel and I would love to have you join our family here. We are positive and sweet and I hope that you will be too. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.